Greetings everyone and welcome back to Backpack Hero and to our ninja uh, who is focused on archery for this particular run. Pierce has decided to channel their energies into pure ranged weapons. You see a wall up ahead and think you need to turn back. Then you realize it's not a wall, it's a huge rodent. A capybara. Hello friend, I'm looking for items of this type, but I'm not going to give you my bow. Because my arrows don't do damage without it. If I get a second bow, I may come back to you, though. All right. Uh, and in fact, there's a good chance that we will get a second bow because we can only find ranged weapons currently. Right. So the first volley is free. How many shields do we need to uh, put up? That's enough. There we go. And the second volley we can afford. But the third volley would cost us two points, which is a little bit too much for us right now. Going to focus on taking down the Muskrat Brigand because they're cowardly. Uh, we only need one shield this turn. That's fine, but we still can't do anything with that last point, so I may as well spend it on a shield. Doesn't really do me any good, just sat there. All right, we aren't going to need to worry too much about this one. Uh, let's focus now on trying to just get through the... Uh, well, we can't get through the shield, realistically. Unfortunately, until we've got a much more capable setup, we are sadly very limited to at most doing 12 damage a turn. Uh, we won't even get through this time. Uh, so we're going to have to wait again. It's going to take us a little while, but at least this enemy is quite predictable in the way it attacks. We only need to do four damage at this point. We can just channel all of that energy. Ooh, actually, no, we won't be able to channel all of that energy into it, so we may as well uh, go ahead and protect. We'd be one short, sadly. But there we go. Nice and easy fight, even if it does take a little bit of time. Right, so obviously what we want to do is we want to try and increase the spaces that our arrows have to increase their damage as much as we possibly can. There we go. And at this point, our arrows are each doing seven damage. We've got a catapult. Excuse me. For each adjacent or diagonal hazard, plus three damage. On you, steals zero damage to all enemies. Destroys all adjacent and diagonal hazards. Wow, how big is this? It is a two. Um, that's actually kind of amazing. We can just put this here and just lob hazards at our enemies. Oh, that sounds grand. Right, a cap. Wands in this column get plus one damage for each space below, plus 0 0.5. Uh, a moth bomb on kill replaced with a new moth bomb. Deals one damage. Uh, and then is destroyed. Each turn, plus four damages combat, so it just gets stronger and stronger. That's a finisher weapon. I very much approve. Very much approve. Okay, well, I'm uh, good with that. Uh, let's move on. Still don't have a bow for our capybara friend, sadly. The Dove Deacon. He sings the song of Noctua. And also the Sparrow Knave. We've already seen you. I don't believe either of them is going to be particularly dangerous for me, but we're going to focus the majority of my efforts into uh, dealing with the Sparrow Knave first. We're doing much better damage now. Doing 12 damage a volley. Oh, I should have probably let you finish doing what you were doing, honestly. Uh, but you're not going to directly attack, so this is fine. This is much nicer now. There we go. And jobs are good in. Right. Always pick up the lucky ring whatever we can. Now, Interestingly, if I place this here, these should be doing the same. Yeah, we've only lost one point of damage. If I put this here, still only lost one point of damage. So it really doesn't matter where you put these for the most part. Uh, in fact, what I could do is this and get some passive uh, defense in there. There we go. So we'll wear the shoe hat. The shoe hat can be transformed into a shoe. And uh, for each row above, you get plus one block. So at this point, we would still only get uh, three uh, sorry, two defense, because there's only two rows above. So as a hat, it is a better deal for us currently. All right, that's all we're going to do for now. Uh, someone has actually said that if I just pick this up and use it... Wow. You can, in fact, do that. Okay. Okay, I... I, I didn't realize. I, I was under the impression that that worked very differently. But we now have a proper arrow. This does 1.5 damage... Uh, for every space to the right. If we pop that in there, get rid of you. This will now do 7 damage. This one is doing 6 damage. That is an upgrade for us. A pretty sweet upgrade at that. In fact, if I move that one down there, this one is doing 5. This one is doing 8. Yeah, it doesn't hasn't really improved it in any real way. 
Uh, do we want anything else from here? No, not really. Okay, well, that's good enough for me for now. Oh, actually, I should have picked up the uh, shuriken thinking about it. There's no real reason not to. Hello. Uh, we'll go for the deacon over here once again. Uh, we will need to get a decent defense up this time, though. So let's just get all of that going. There we are. You're going to try and defend, which is a bad move when I am this capable of doing damage. And we'll finish this fight in one volley. Oh, well, two volleys, sorry. In, in one attack. Now, we could get some passive defense here from the tunic, but we would dig into our damage output, which I'm not a great fan of, if I'm honest. Um, but I could do something like this and put the shoes in. That would, uh, it's only give me two. Honestly, it would be better to do something like this. At least I'm getting five from that. But that has really dug into our damage output. We're now down to eight versus doing a very, very respectable 13. I think we'll stick with the 13 and just using the shield very aggressively. But since I've got no other, nothing else to do, I may as well grab these potions. Uh, grabbing the 25 block as well, sure. Right. Onwards, let's go and find out what we've got over here. Oh. Well, wasn't expecting that. Hermit crab mimic. Ah, okay. The hermit crab in the chest trick. I get it. Looks can be deceiving. Right, well, let's unload on you. There we go. I'm not even going to bother defending this turn. Because I can just use that to get a load of uh, protection. And we get a level up. Amazingly. Uh, now we've only got one space to play with. We'll go ahead and plonk this one in right there. There we are. Done and done. We'll move the bow back. Get a little bit more damage output. And what would we like to take here? When a diagonal shield is used, adds an extra block. Uh, not a terrible choice, honestly. And then we can, of course, grab a couple of other items as well. Sure, grab these. There we go. Not bad. Finish choosing. And onwards we go. Sadly, we don't have a bow to offer our capybara friend. Let me just double check. Does anything here count as a bow? You'd be surprised sometimes. No. All right. Well, off we go then to the next area. The Crypt, part two of three. Now, in terms of the quest that we're on, does that finish in the first area? Because we've now got the ability to go to the second area. Uh, I want to take you out as a priority. So let's unleash the lucky start. And then get a bunch of blocks so I don't have to worry about anything. Do all that damage. I could use this. It'll deal five damage. Replace with a new moth bomb on kill. Tonk. There we are. New moth bomb. And uh, that is a zero cost item. So may as well use it. Uh, let's go for you next, since you will be a bit of a pain if I let you hang around for too long. And we have greatly reduced the potential of our enemies already. Uh, we've got one incoming attack, so I'll just use that. And just unload on you. There we go. And nothing else for us to do. Uh, for each adjacent or diagonal ha yeah, it, it, this does no damage currently. There's no point in us using it at all. Let's just get one block just so that we're definitely safe. And then just unload. There's nothing more we can do, sadly. But on this turn, you'll be defending and we'll finish you off then. There we go. Now then, ooh. For each adjacent accessory, plus two damage. On you, steal seven damage. This is interesting because this is a teddy bear sword. I'm not meant to be able to get melee weapons in this current run. So this is very interesting. Very interesting indeed. Uh, also is interesting is this. If I place that there, then I'm going to increase the damage of this as well. And deal zero damage to all enemies. So this would be able to inflict damage on every enemy. But Teddy Bear Sword, bringing that along, I mean, it is a potent thing to do. Can't, can't deny it. I could slip that in there, for example. Have this on the other side. Let's just see how much damage that would do then. 
This does 11 damage. Well, I mean, my arrows already do that, so there's not really much point in, in that one. But I think we'll go with this. This is going to just increase the damage on everything for just one point. I am a-okay with that. Uh, I can take two more items, so I'll take consumables. Uh, sure, we'll bring that one as well. Finish choosing. Always bring consumables. If you get the chance, we don't need any healing, so onward to the next battle. Uh, okay, immediately going to take you down. Uh, so this is the 10 damage to everyone, and then I want that on you. Next up, I want to uh, gain a little bit of damage. Yeah, that's glorious. And because this is combat-wide, uh, it's going to last for quite some time. And all of these gain 3 damage. And obviously on these arrows, they're not weak to start with. Right, we're taking, we've got 11 incoming damage, so I'm going to just block that. And there we go. And end the turn. Now, you're getting ready for a massive swing. How much damage is that I'm capable of outputting right now? Uh, oh, we'll easily finish you off. There we go. And a level up. Continue to increase the amount of damage we can do here. Uh, do we want to continue expanding this out? I kind of do, yeah. Though I would really love it. You know what? Instead, let's make some room for a potential helmet at some point. I think that would be a wise one. And additionally, I'll expand this out just a little bit as well. Yeah, we'll focus. We won't focus on uh, increasing our, our weapons, per se. Uh, we will make just a bit of room for generally improving our uh, accessories and the likes. Now, what I would like to do is this. And, yeah, this still affects everything. All of the weapons in this area. Now, again, it doesn't matter where the damage is. It only matters which way the arrow is pointing. The bow can shoot these arrows backwards. So, uh, this is one way of organizing your uh, your inventory. Uh, in my opinion, in a quite good way. Uh, we're going to pop that there for now. I'll bring this along as well. And I can take one more item. Sure, I'll bring that. We won't worry about... Well, I could bring a key. I can always move the key up there eventually. In fact, let's move the key up there now and pop this down there since I'll be consuming these fairly quickly. Right, okay. That's not bad at all, I don't think. Uh, that being said, I could do this. Hmm. I mean, I st I'm still going to want this with me, but... We, we can we can puzzle that out a little bit later. All right, we've got a shop. We've got a treasure chest. We've got an event. Ah, hope you aren't too hungry. Uh, I will trade food for... No, I'm not going to go for a cleaver this one. Though that would... Well, you know what? What will happen if I try to trade food for a cleaver right now? Will I actually get a cleaver? Because I'm not meant to be able to. Just finding... Uh, I love that knife. Use it well. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't get the... <laughs> you took my food. Thief. Ah, my lord. That's what I get for trying to break the game, though. That's on me. Uh, let's load all of this up. We've got a ring. Don't really care for it, though. Ooh, now this is an interesting one. Um, do I want to change this? I would love to change this up, but sadly I can't easily do that. Because having this near wherever I build hazards would be kind of cool. But I guess we're just going to roll with this as is. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll get rid of all of these and then we'll be doing a wallop load of damage. Let's go and check in the shop, see what they've got. We've got... All right, a rocket silo. Can be used one time each combat and we'll create a rocket in this column. Can I rotate it? I think I can. I mean... If ever you were going to do something like that, now would be the time. Oh, it's huge, though. It is huge. Oh, it still creates a rocket in the column, though. Okay, so no, we definitely don't want that, then. Uh, the citrine uh, has been pointed out that this will uh, rotate and affect anything in, in the direction it's rotating, but the key to this is looking for the highlighted direction. This one says below in cyan. This one says in the column in, in white. 
so uh, it doesn't doesn't change but this one could be worth it for me we're gonna go ahead and pop this down because any bit of extra damage on this is just grand all right with that done i think we're gonna move on let's go and see what this event is welcome to my game show Lady Luck, roll the dice. You can stop at any time and take your current item, but if you go over 12, you'll be cursed. Uh, there's nothing here I want. No. No. Ooh, actually, Hawkeye's bow. On use, fires the first arrow in each row to the right, and fires the first arrow in each row to the left. <sighs> Look, we're going to do it. We're going to try it. Okay, we're, that's what we're aiming for. We've got to be super close. Come on. No. I'm not, I'm not going to take one in... Uh, sorry. I'm, I'm not going to take a, a one in six chance to win. Or put it another way, a five in six chance to lose. I, I will accept the current prize and I'm just going to sell it. Uh, <laughs> damn it. Uh, oh well. Uh, you can have this. Tunk. Thank you very much. Actually, I could sell pretty much anything here if I really wanted. I could even sell the moth bomb, which I'm not really using. But having that down here does make so much more sense. I, I guess moving these around just like that is a better play, since this will also affect the speed that that one's building up. We're going to go and have a fight and gain some extra experience, always. Up against a vole and the sparrow knave. Uh, let's go for the Sparrow Knave first. Uh, first and foremost, let's just unload on you. Uh, let's fire this. Tunk, you're out of the game. Now, I'll take one point of damage for this, but I'm actually okay with that. I'm going to use this again. Fire off another vol- oh, Actually, never mind, I'm not going to take any damage. I refuse. There we go. Archery can build very quickly. Oh, that's fantastic. Okay. Yep. Swapping this out straight away. Uh, the meal. Sure, we'll grab that. I'll also grab liquid armor. Or maybe I could take this. Um, yeah, I don't want the flower. The applying weak to me is not something super great, in my opinion. Finish that up. But at this rate, I'm not even sure we're ever going to use the Moth Bomb. But in a long, protracted fight, and that's what a boss fight is going to be, it would help. Getting a good bit of food building up at the, at the uh, town. All right, let's go and have a quick gander at how this one goes down then, shall we? All right. Well, first and foremost, let me go ahead and just gobble down that food. I'm then going to use this so I don't need to worry about using my shield at all. And then I'm simply going to invest in... Until we've got three points left, because that'll give me a solid couple of blows. There we go. You're almost dead. Uh, how much does this do now? That does 17. Sure. Okay, I'll take you out with my finisher weapon. And it was that easy. <laughs> Bows are bonkers, and this is a, definitely a uh, an example of where you really just want to focus on keeping your build as tight as possible. If I'd filled up all of those cells, I would basically have a garbage bow. But we didn't get anything particularly snazzy here either. And look at the time, you know what, we can definitely do another, another run. Oh, well, I say that, we've got a lot of people to talk to. Well, we'll see how much time I've got left afterwards. Okay, let's go and have a quick chat. The name is Doug. Hello, Doug. I'm just a local carpenter passing through, although this town has seen better days. We could definitely use some help. I could do that. I can put in some blueprints for new buildings with your mayor. While we're working on that, I have an idea for you. You should set up a few sawmills. Creates five, oh, five building materials uh, while you're in the dungeon. Must be near the woods for each natural decoration nearby. 10% efficiency. Ooh, okay. We can make some building materials for you while you're gone. I like this, Doug. I like it a lot. Hello. Parcels delivery service here. We meet all of your delivery needs. Ever find an item in the dungeons beneath Ordaria? You just have to have it. But alas, you aren't done adventuring yet. That's where we come in. 
Just meet with me. I'll bring any items back to Haversack Hill. They'll be waiting for you when you return. Okay, he carries items between Odaria and the dungeon. All right, that's not too bad. Even if you're defeated, this is a great way to make sure that your stuff is held. Looking forward to working with you. Okay, now I believe you will always show up between the dun- like the- after you kill a boss before you descend to a new layer of the dungeon. My first order as mayor is to get a few items to attract some local business. Could you bring me some of these items? You want a weapon, you want consumable. I just so happen to have a consumable. Uh, alright. A tavern. Research consumables here for each commercial decoration nearby, plus 5% efficiency. And what is this? It's the military researcher building, okay. I will give you a single arrow. There we are. Creates treasure while you're in the dungeon. Oh my lord. I can see how this is going to start scaling. Thanks. You should bring back the items to unlock these buildings as soon as possible. Our town will really start expanding once we have these built. I can only do so much on my own. What? Let me scan for you. Well, let's go and talk with our archer friend. This town needs a savior. I believe it can be you. You have completed archery training, but there is still much to learn. Build this, so we may learn more. Okay. Creates ten food while you're in the dungeon. I guess they go out hunting. Research bows and arrows here. Okay. Uh, for each military item. So I probably want to put that next to a barracks or something along those lines. Uh, okay. Fly straight, like an arrow. Oh. The irony being, the better the bowman... <laughs> the more you can pull off trick shots where the arrows don't fly straight. Great work so far. I see you've made it here, uh, there and back more than once. There's always more to discover, and I have a few missions to keep you busy too. Coral, you'll start with these items. You must keep them the entire run. Right, okay, so this is how we're going to get this stuff to unlock the relics. Right, so they're only available to us as quest items to start, and then once we've researched them as the, in the relic form, we can find them as relics in the dungeon. That makes sense. Start with some basic items. We'll get uh, that to come back. Windmill. Okay, yeah, another uh, relic there. We'd unlock a uh, verdant energy. Best of luck, Purse. Thank you very much. All right. Okay, well, we've got basically no uh, money to spend on anything. So I'm going to just sell everything first. Let's just go ahead and get rid of all of that. I'll give us a solid 22. We need one house. Can I build a house? I can build a tavern already. Can I build one house? Ah, so far. What I really want is to break these things down, but it's going to need a little bit more. What can I afford here? I can build a sawmill. Maybe getting the sawmill up and running would be a better idea. Or I can build the barracks as well. That would get me treasure. But right now, it's building materials is the problem. So a sawmill. Uh, does it t tell me where it needs to go? Uh, must be built near the woods. Okay. Can I build it? Oh, yeah, I can literally build it right next to the woods. Okay, fair enough. Pop it here. You. It doesn't really tell us anything about it. Right, what's the next one going to cost? A lot. Okay. Can I afford anything else? I'm just shy. Ah, oh, that's vexing. Now, that being said, I can build the arch, uh, the Fletcher. Now, I'm going to want to place this somewhere where I'm going to place military buildings in the future. Um, sure, we'll pop this here. And then we'll pr try and build a barracks around there, for example. We're now generating some building materials and a decent amount of food. Uh, can I build any more of these? I can, actually. All right, let's pop one down there. Can I place another? I cannot afford. Sad. Right, library-wise, yeah, we can't do anything in the library as yet. Uh, but now we've got plus 25% efficiency when we're selling. That's going to be pretty good, I think. Pretty good. And looking at the time, yeah, we've got time for another run. Sure, we, we, can, we can do two runs in this one. Uh, we're going to take this outfit this time, though. And let's have a look at our quests. We could go on a standard run. This one would have the potential of going deeper, but considering... Oh, wait. I'm seeing a, a, an item over there. Let me go and uh, deal with that first. This is the... Oh, the archery area is able to... Ah, I can use the spark. There's a lot of stuff in here. I need to bring bows, arrows, and food, treasure, various items. 
if we can use it, it will show up in our, um, in the, uh, on the item itself. It should have a little, little, uh, icon on the card to tell us that, hey, you need this for research. Does Matthew want this spark before I use it for research? Great job bringing so much back. The people in the area, thank you. There are still more areas to unlock. I do have a spark. Ah, okay. Can't use it here, though. So I will go ahead and use it in here. You may have it. And I will already earmark the 50 resources I need. Now I just need a rare bow. Rare or legendary. All right, now going on the adventure. But which one would we go for? I could do the standard run again. This would allow me to go to the deeper section, but since we're doing this kind of as a second run in an episode, I'm going to hold off on that one. Uh, we've got Coral. You start with these items. The run ends after area one. This one ends after area one. And this one, they all end after area one. But I think I'm going to do Dad's quest. We're going to take the spiked helmet and the knight's armor. Let's get out there. The pauper knight. All right, so Knight's Armor, adjacent and diagonal shield and armor get plus two block, and each turn this adds six block. And the helmet, if this is not in the top row, the item is disabled, but for each turn, it'll add one block. In fact, it'll add more than that. It'll add three now, and add three spikes to self, which means that every turn I'm going to increase my spikes by two. Spikes, as you can probably already guess, will do damage to the enemy based on how many spikes I've got, only if they do melee attacks. Now that is one of the reasons why I was meaning to touch on it before, how some things are, are marked as projectile, even though they're not arrows. Well, obviously they like a shuriken isn't an arrow, but it really does actually matter whether something's a projectile or not, because you will only take spiked damage off a um, contact attack, so a physical attack. I'll slide that in there and in there. Okay, let's head on out. Fight straight away. Uh, let's take... Well, honestly, you're going to be shielding both of you, which I disapprove of. Uh, I don't have the means to shield anymore, but... And I could use it just to cover this little bit of damage, but I, three damage is fine. You're going to kill yourself. I wouldn't be able to fit it in my backpack, which is an interesting one. That's kind of a trap, really. There we go. I'm just going to have to accept this one. I'll just pop it over here. Finished organizing. And finish you off. There you go. And with that, we win. Right, let's open this up a little bit. There we go. And shimmy this. Uh, ooh. Now, this gives plus two to armor. You could already grab a bow. But all of this together is great for us. Our passive block is going to be amazing. Plus, we're getting a little bit of extra damage on our wooden sword. Um, alternatively, I could use this, which does better damage, but it... And it also inflicts weak, however the energy cost goes up. Mm, I think I actually like that more. <sighs> Can't grab that. Okay, well, we'll have to skip on that one then. But I think this is a pretty solid... We're, we're going for a... We're, we're doing what Dad wanted us to do. And that is, we're staying safe. We are maximizing our staying safe. Not only are we covered in armor, we're also spiky. This is grand. There we go. Just two attacks. You're very weak and it's not even like... You, you did more damage to you than to our armor, which is absolutely perfect. Because even though they do no damage they will still take damage from our spikes. That is a really important point to remember. That it doesn't matter how much damage they do, only that they make contact with you in an attack. There you go. And you'll kill yourself on me. There you go. Thank you very much for running into me with such vigor. Uh, right. Let's go ahead and open up these spaces down here, I think. And open that up a little bit more. We've got another hat. Uh, wands in this column get plus one damage, and for each row below, yeah, sure, I'll pop that there. We've now also got the machete. This can only be used once each turn, but does three points of damage. I think, pot ooh, actually, if we do this, then I get the bonus from this on both of them. 
Is there anything else I would want more than that? I don't need the block. I frankly just absolutely don't need it. A heal isn't bad. Or just doing loads of damage to our enemies. You know, strong defense. Uh, good defense is a, it's a strong offense, as the saying goes. I think that's the saying. Anyway. Right. Already 19 defense. That is absolutely wild. I do not need to block whatsoever. Okay. I could just grab this and I'd still be able to attack a little bit. Uh, but I just, I just don't need it. There we go. Okay. A nice shield. The tragedy shield? Do I want to take this? Um, hmm. uh, kind of do. Does this affect shields as well? It does. Okay. Let's pop that up there. So that gives me 10 block when I use it. But right now I barely do any damage, which is the problem. However, if I bring this along, I could dump my points into this, which would mean I'd do an extra 9 damage on top of the force, so I'd do 13 damage to all enemies every turn, unless I use my shield. In which case, I'd reduce the damage by multiples of 3 each for each time. Yeah, this is good enough. I think this is a, quite a potent uh, setup here. My house looks like a hat. Uh, okay, drop the little buckler. You can take the item you land on. Okay, we've got the Orc Sork Axe. We've got the Red Ribbon uh, Rapier. Old Coins. Poison. Throwing star or spaghetti. Uh, I may as well do it. And we'll decide whether we want to keep whatever it is. That's right in this direction. That's right. That's right. That's right. Yes. Yes. No. No. Bad. Yes. Ha ha. Exactly what I wanted. Right. Now, the interesting thing with this, you have to spend money <laughs> to use this weapon. There we go. Uh, did I? There we are. Tonk. So, for each adjacent item, plus one damage. On you, seals 11 damage. On kill, plus one gold. The axe of an elder god. I mean, how can I say no? Literally, how? It's not possible, I say. If I pop that in there, this now does 17 damage. I have to spend a gold to use it, but I can increase that even further. <laughs> My lord. Okay, I... I we're going to go for the uh, enemy. I haven't got enough room to stick anything else in there right now. Uh, right, I don't really want to deal with either of you, frankly. Uh, you're already doing 17 damage without me spending anything on it. So let's take you down. There we go. Now, I'm going to need a little bit more punch for this. So let's pop that in there. 20 damage in one go. Womp. Shame I can't finish you off. That's fine. I'll just pop this down there. So I'm one coin down with this fight, but that's fine. Right, level up. How do I want to reorganize this? I'm thinking something along those lines would be a better move for me. Get items, see what we get. Wow. Really? I could, and this gets stupid at this point. <laughs> However, I think I'm going to not be crazy. Um, as much as it's fun to be. Uh, we will shimmy this across. I'll tuck that in there. We're going to take that as a boot. So that's now giving me six extra block. Um, an extra bit of luck. Sure. I guess taking this along. We're still focusing on our one ridiculous weapon, but... Um, is there a better, better positioning for this? There is a better position for this because I can maximize how many items are around it. It's now doing 19 damage base without me putting any extra oomph into it. In fact, this is the maximal damage I could get because it's only the adjacent. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. Beautiful. Finish choosing. Right. Okay, let's uh, head out. This, this turned into, a, well, it's not quite a Midas run, but it's not far off either. Okay, we've got a shop. We've got an enemy. Let's go for the enemy. 
Right. Uh, okay, you're not even going to remotely be able to do enough damage to me. So, the thing is, can I do enough damage? No. So, I'm going to pop that into that. I'm doing 25 damage. Still uh, far enough away that it's not going to be great for me, but it, it's fine. Uh, let's aim for you. I'll take you out next turn. Cost me one coin. This turn, I'll get the coin back. There we are. And I would like to invest once again. I could, in fact, just keep waiting until I've got enough damage built up. Well, no, I can't, because this this actually, this is a rough whetstone. It only built it up for this turn, which is a, it's a shame, really, but oh well. Uh, let's go for the wallop there. Now, I think we came in with 21 gold. I actually failed to, to check my bad on that one. Uh, let's just make sure that we finish you. Oh, we didn't. That was very much my bad. Oh, well. Uh, you'll kill yourself on my uh, my spikes, which is a shame because I, I won't get the money for it. Um, actually, I'm going to drink that. I'm going to wait for you to be uh, defending yourself, and the, I'll just wait for you to do damage. Right, I'll already finish you off. There we go. Uh, I think I think we ended up just getting a little bit more cash there. When a cleaver kills an on some enemy plus one gold. I mean, it's not terrible, but also the masonry tools can be used one time each combat. On use, creates a brick in this row. Now, this one can be crazy good for something that that builds on structures. This is absolutely wondrous, but it's not useful for our build right now. Uh, I will... I don't need the health, actually. Let's have a look at what we've got in here. The Proto Mana Stone. This mysterious relic pulses with power. Someone in Havasak Hill may know more. Hmm. Hmm. I think I'm going to have to replace that with it, yeah. Okay. Uh, what else have you got here? The Wizard's Cap. Each turn removes one energy and adds four mana. I mean, that would be great, but I don't need it. I think I'll go and grab that one instead. There we go. And we'll see what else we've got to do. Up against a vole over here. And... I mean, I could just block the damage that they're going to be doing instead of spending my cash. Alternatively, let's uh, transform. Is this on? No, it's on take damage. Okay. All right, well, I'm just going to use it max times. Dunk. And I'm going to let you do damage to yourselves. Because you attack multiple times, it's actually perfect for me. Right. Uh, two uses of this will bring our axe to the point where I can finish you in one hit. Just going to use that max times. Let you do a little bit more damage to yourself. Actually, you didn't even get through your own shield. It was a bit of a pain. I'm going to be a bit of a miser now because I've only got 19 gold. There we are. Um, I say that, but uh, no, I, I will. This is this is going to stack up pretty nicely. There we are. I think you will pretty much bring yourself within killing distance for me now. Yeah. Punk. There we go. Oh, fantastic. A proper wet stone. Okay, that is perfect for us. Now this will continually build up. But in regards to the uh, research, if we have a look down there, I can see where I would research it, what building needs it. It's just a little icon. Um, right at the bottom left, that little magnifying glass. Are any of the others got it? Not really, actually. Interesting. Okay. Uh, but I don't think we're going to take anything else. I, I think this build is really quite amazing right now. So it's not unless we uh, level up am I going to change anything. See what we got down here. The cards hold your future. Or your doom. Six gases. Okay. Shrimp. Okay. Staff. Okay, I'll take that. Um, totem. A cursed chest, I believe. Spiked helmet. A cursed shield. There we go. Spiked helmet. That would be up there, so we don't want it. There's the shrimp. 
Oh, no more gases. I don't want any of these things. I just found it funny to take them. Um, actually, that gives me four block, whereas this is currently giving me three. I'm going to take that because the massive amount of spike generation we're going to have here is very, very attractive to me. Uh, this is giving me six block, whereas this was giving me how much? Only four. So, yeah, don't want that. This is a better setup for us. I mean, the Vampiric Axe isn't a terrible one. Deals 10 damage, but adds 3 poison to self. Uh, no. This is still the better option for us. Uh, let's have a quick peek, see what they've got over here. Uh, the wheel moves forward until stopped. When this finishes moving, turn clockwise. When this moves, adjacent weapons gain 5 damage this turn only. I mean, it's not a terrible one, I'm not going to lie, but it just isn't going to be useful for us. I do believe that this is the boss fight. Oh, I'm looking at the time. This is uh, about a perfect episode length. Still have to chat with peeps in the, oh, in the town. Why do you do me sad like this game? It's just rude. All right. Well, I see no reason to attack until I can basically kill you instantly. So I'm just going to build up and let you hurt yourself on me. That way, I am free of guilt for attacking a ferret. In fact, I'm just letting you hug me aggressively until you die that seems perfectly fine to me is, is this actually going to be a viable attack strategy <laughs> oh my good lord it might be i'm just going to keep using this every single time we're already up to 55 damage on the axe at this point uh keep using it <laughs> to 26 you're gonna you will kill yourself in the next attack there you go and gonna keep going 67 damage. I, I'm not. I'm not even going to attack. I'm just going to. I'm just sat here, just sharpening my axe, looking menacing the whole time. This is the ultimate flex on an enemy, by the way. The ultimate flex. You're, you're not. You're, it's not like you're dodging or anything. You just stood there, just sharpening your weapon, as if you might use it eventually, but you just never feel the need. You're actually going to kill yourself. <laughs> Wow, the double stack of spikes was painfully strong. I wonder if you, well, I mean, effectively, I was about to say, I wonder if you could make a completely defensive build. Yes, this was a completely defensive build. I had a weapon if I wanted it. I just never needed it. My good lord. That was actually bonkers. I, I failed to check how high that got, by the way, but that was, that was just glorious. Uh, I'm going to get rid of these. Don't need these rings anymore. All right, let's head back to order. That was bullying. It really was with the end. Just bullying. That being said, I mean, my health was going down. Um, right. Okay, so. Uh, is Louie going to be happy about this? I'm still trying to open this dang locket. Oh, okay, fine. Uh, we have got a new villager. Most mammals can't detect the magical items. Yet, I feel a strong presence from you. Is this Nora or is it Nura? Are you, are you uh, Scandinavian? You Scandinavian toad? Could you be sensitive to magical items? Do you have anything magical on you right now? Uh, I, I, yes, I guess. Uh, wait, how did I end up with these? Mother Dickens. Actually, I don't think I do. Um, unless this counts. Hmm, this isn't what I'm looking for. Hmm, okay. I don't actually have any magical items right now. It's, it's quite, quite fair. My first order is me is to get a few items. Uh, do I have the armor? I do indeed have the armor. You may have it. There we are. The blacksmith creates 10 building materials while you're in the dungeon. Research armor and shields here. Uh, military decoration. So again, another one we want to build next to uh, military buildings. Fantastic. All of these buildings are ready to be built. The voters just won't accept an incomplete town. You should build a tavern. That will give the animals a place to cool down. All right. Okay. Well, uh, no. <laughs> first... Let's see. Uh, way too much food. Uh, I could build another sawmill to get more building materials. We do have 25, though. Uh, we might be able to get this done. Let's go into destroy mode. I need 20 for that. 20 for this. For that. For that. 30 for this. Tw 45? My lord. 25 there. Okay, we're, this is really bringing in the materials now. Okay, this is flying by. 
And let's just do a quick once over, get any scrap that we can get. Uh, that one as well. We're gonna. The houses are gonna be the next thing for us to go for. But this has brought us in a staggering amount of materials. This is absolutely wonderful. In fact, if I built a house at this point, I'd be able to get the other houses. But how much is a house? 45. I can, I can definitely afford it. Pop it there. There we are, up to 30. So with that done, let's do a quick round of demolition on the broken houses. I'll bring this in a fair old bit extra. Hopefully no one was living in these. Uh, let's get rid of all of you. I'm going to also tear down the regular house I've built, and I'm going to bring it up alongside the uh, the other one. We'll make a little terrace of houses. I think it'll be really cosy. There we go. We built this one right there. Oh, wow. Really? I could just keep building them and then delete them afterwards? That's kind of cheaty, but... Okay. Uh, right, with that done, uh, I don't have enough food for the barracks, sadly. Uh, I don't have enough food for anything, actually, which is a real shame. Let's go ahead and build this pot down here, though. Uh, then I would like to build the, the blacksmith, sorry. Now, how big of an area? Okay, that's, that is correct. Uh, I could invest a lot more. Um, let me just double check. We need a bunch of... We need treasure for this. So the tavern is within our reach. And the barracks is also within our reach. But I would need to build a lot of just general brick brack around here for now. Um, oh, over, overlapping... Oh, I see. So I can't build that there. Fair enough. We can still afford to invest quite heavily in this place, but I, I can't, don't really like that they're all just pots. That being said, I guess I could just build it and tear it down. Uh, no, I'm not going to be that kind of that kind of scoundrel. We'll do this fair and oh, really, again, yeah. we will do this fair and square. Right. I guess I should check out the uh, research that's available first. Right, armor and common. Sure, I'll give you the helmet. Uh, a shield. Mm, yeah, okay, you can have it. Clothing. You can have the basic clothing. Armor uncommon. Helmet uncommon. We've got the iron helmet. Adjacent armor gets plus one block if this is not in the top row, blah, blah. Each turn adds two block. That's not really that great of a helmet, if I'm perfectly honest. I'm not really sure why we've got that one there. Ugh, this is going to make me a lot of cash, but... All right, I'll give it to you. Uh, a ring. You want to get as much... Re I, I'm, I'm generally going to just do more runs in order to get the basic materials. If I can research with something, I'm almost always going to go for that. That's just the, just the way I, I play these sorts of things. Uh, is there anything I wanted to invest here? I mean, other than being able to invest the building materials, not really. Okay, well, we'll come back there at another time. Right, now it's time to sell whatever's left. And to be fair, we actually did have quite a few things left. Uh, oh, someone's going to need to look at that. Uh, that'll give me 51. Ooh, we might actually have enough. Not for the tavern, no, but I think it was the barracks. Yes, we can get the barracks down. Okay, I'm very impressed with that progress. We did just bottom out all of our food, so maybe I should put another farm down. Uh, Alright, let's have a look at the barracks. Why am I going in the back? Hmm. Uh, so, here we go. We can start unlocking all of the different... Oh, right, okay, so this is why we haven't been seeing the really interesting cleavers. So, the Jack cleaver, the Queen cleaver, there'll be a King cleaver around here somewhere, the King cleaver. Uh, once... Uh, I, think there is, I think there is a couple of other cleavers. Like, really specialist cleavers. Uh, accessory, eh? Um, do I want to do that? Pulls back most enemy to the front. No, I don't want to use an accessory there. I want to go and find our librarian and ask her if this is something she can look at. 
Great looking item, but I don't think there's any text here I can read. That is a bit of a shame. All right. Well, we'll find some... Oh, actually. It's a proto-mana stone. Ah. Is this something you would look at? Wow, it's in good condition too. Wait a second. Did someone lick this? Look, okay, I can't lie to you. I, I, I had to check if it was food. It tasted like blue. Your close exposure to this item may have unforeseen consequences. Most animals experience a stomach ache, but for some of you, the close contact can lead us to hidden knowledge. Ooh, hidden knowledge. You may start finding magical items all throughout the dungeon. If we had a magical mycelium, we could research more magical items. This one builds off holy decoration, okay, and adds treasure, all right. Also, if you need a little practice with magic, here's a quest for you. The Wizard School, don't start with standard items. You start with these, you can still you can still find magic. The run ends after area one, rewards, or you would get the unstable mana, and a lost spark, okay. I'm still waiting for you to complete the magical mycelium. We need one to learn more about magical items. You gotta make one. If you build one, I can even invite my friend, Tote, to join- Tote! Ah! I know that name. That is one of the other main characters, one of the playable characters you can have. One of the beautiful things about this game is each playable character has a vastly different way of playing. It's not just a, a reskin. Within each character, you've got several different outfits for that character, but each one has a very different way of playing the game. So I'm really excited to be able to start showing that. She's a real expert on this stuff, and I think she has a magical backpack too. Why? More magical backpacks? That'll diminish my specialness. I'm not sure about this. Okay, let's have a look. Um, we're definitely going to go... You know what? We'll go out with Percy's default uh, dress this time. But we're going to go and do the wizard school straight away. We'll start with the apprentice staff, a large mana stone, and a broken ring. Let's go. Okay, but as before, I'm afraid that is going to be the end of this episode. It ran a little bit long, but not too much considering we fit in two full runs. I really do hope you've enjoyed this and that you're enjoying the series as ever. If you are, do let me, and indeed... Saint Algorithmus know with those beautiful buttons down below, but that is going to be it until next time. I hope you enjoyed. I hope to see you in the next, but until then, to take care, everyone. <laughs>